Welcome back. It's an historic day right here in our new studio in the middle of Times Square. I have to say, when I pulled up this morning, I've never been in Times Square at 5 a.m. Me neither. Where you can hear all sorts of conversations of people going around. But even at 5 a.m., it feels electric out. Yeah, you never party till 5 a.m. <laughs> no. Not in Times Square. <laughs> anyway. I'm a big square. No, I never have. It, it but was it just amazing. feels very different. It, it was like broad. It was like 12 noon. The lights are that bright. Yes. Yeah, it's like a jolt of uh, energy, like having coffee without I, the caffeine. I think so, yeah. too. I'm, I'm really excited about this new chapter for all of us. As you see, we've got a new home. We've got a new name, CBS Mornings. Make sure you, you reminded Tony last week people to change their DVR. Change your DVR. If you have the old name in there, it will not record. Yeah, and you want, want you record to record this. <laughs> Look at and that guy. We got most of name. all, we've got a new co-host. What's your name is? Uh, Nate Burleson. Nate Burleson. <laughs> Around here, we call him AKA Nate the Great. His talent and his tenacity on and off the football field brought him to CBS News in May as a guest host. We were so impressed that we said, Nate, do you want to come and play with us full time? Pretty and you said, <laughs> Yeah, pretty please is right. And you said, Yes. Oh, you guys are so sweet. If I wasn't yeah. so chocolate, you'd see me blushing right now. <laughs> <laughs> he is an Emmy Award winner. He's an NFL veteran who played 11 seasons as a wide receiver for the Vikings, the Seahawks, and the Lions. In 2017, he joined CBS Sports as an analyst for NFL Today, reporting on game days and Super Bowl. Look at you. Ooh. And Super Bowl Sunday. And he's no stranger to these early mornings before waking up with us. He was an anchor on Good Morning Football. That's on the NFL Network. He's also a fan of entertainment news. This is where I see him, used to see him all the time. 2019, he joined the show Extra Extra as a correspondent. He's a husband. This is what I like best of all. He's a husband. And he's a father of three. I really like that. And a fun fact, he's originally from Canada. And as you can see for yourself, he's got signature style. I have to say, Nate, for the first time I said to James, what is Nate going to be wearing today? <laughs> I'm going to keep it casual. I'll spice it up occasionally. i got to keep up with Tony. Oh, oh I like oh, it. Oh, I like stop it. with I that. I like it. I like it. I like it. I appreciate it. the yeah, We're thrilled to have you. Good Morning Football is a great show. When I, when I first heard you were joining us, I was like, let me check out this show. Yeah. First of all, and what'd you find? it's fantastic. He's a yeah. great broadcaster, but also just a good dude. Yeah. Uh, on your last day, grown men were breaking up into tears. Thank you. Peter. Yeah. And Kyle, yeah. they were missing you. Five years of working together. The waterworks were flowing. Um, so I'm thankful to my Good Morning Football crew. Hello, everybody. And I'm also thankful for this position. I understand this right here. It's prime real estate. And I am in a privileged position to help inform, entertain, and uplift the people that are watching us. So, Nate, were you nervous about making the transition? Because I think that when we were talking about you, the time you said, and said, boy, he is really, really good. And it's so much bigger, I think, than football, what you do. For sure. Were you? I love sports. You know, yeah. I've been playing sports since I was eight years old, and I've been working in TV since 2014 when I retired. But now at 40 years old, a husband, a father of three, the things that I talk about when I go home, they fit this morning show. So yeah. it was eventually going to happen, um, but I, I made sure that the next step was going to be with the right family, and CBS is the right family. Well, when we, we first started talking about this, you said that you had to pay attention to what you were paying attention to, and because ah. this is what you talk about, the news when you go home, it made sense for you to come here. Yeah, I'm extremely blessed. I get to work a job in a space that I'm interested in, and all the things that I want to talk about, I'll be able to share that with the world. Well, let me tell you something. I think you got swagger. I think you bring a little something to us, and I'm really excited that you're here and very excited that you said yes. Yeah. But we're not the only ones who are excited. There are other people <laughs> who are very excited who are wishing Nate well. Really? Yep. It was Super Bowl of bust, baby. <laughs> <laughs> your old quarterback from Seattle, Matt Hasselbeck. I'm excited to hear what you have to say, but really it's those outfits. I cannot wait to see the outfits. Nate Burleson, new co-host of CBS Mornings. We can't wait to wake up every day with you. Going to CBS, Nate Burleson. What's your little bro, Cliff Averill, man? I'm out here on the West Coast. I'm going to wake up to catch that first show, man. Nate! We miss you already here at the Good Morning Football Breakfast Table. Good luck. We know you're going to crush it. And Gail, keep some extra tissues, maybe some waterproof mascara. Nate makes you cry laughing at least once a show. What's up, this little bro? This big bro. Congrats on the new job. We love you. We proud of you. And keep killing it. We wish you the best of luck, and we are so proud of you. I didn't know you'd take news with to another level. Now you're in news. Congratulations, my brother, Nate Burleson. I know you'll be representing up? your second home, Detroit with lion blood. 
to the foot. Yes, hey, Nate, it's Ron Rivera here. You have a great story What's to tell, up, but you're also going to tell some great stories as well. Nate, Pops, just want to call and say uh, congratulations with the my new dad. CBS position. Yeah. Nate, what's up, man? Matthew out here in L.A. Proud of you, man. So Can't wait bad. to watch you do your thing. It's hard to believe, but we have known nice. each other for like oh, 10 man. years now. I do have one piece of advice, though. You're a rookie again, so you're going to have to bring the donuts. I want to thank you for the positive impact you've had on my family over the years, and I can't wait to see the impact Nate Burleson has on the entire CBS family across the country. Hey, Nate, it's your buddy Boomer. Out working hard, getting ready for the football season. Congratulations on the new gig. Little message to Gail and Tony. They are getting a great teammate. Congratulations, son, for joining CBS Mornings. I am so proud of you. I love you. Mwah. Little Nate. Wow, Thank you guys Nate, for that, that was really good. I, was, see, I don't like surprises, but that one really pulled at the heartstrings. Thank you, guys, and thank you for everybody involved, all the producers behind the scenes. Yeah, a lot of producers. I just heard about it this morning. I thought, oh, that's a really good idea, really good idea. It's supposed to be professional. You guys are going to make me lose it here, but oh, uh, thank you for that. that I know, fun. but you must feel how many people are pulling for you. That's what I think is so nice. There isn't one person that said, ooh, what's he doing there? Everybody said, it's so great for you. He's such a great addition to the team, so we're really psyched He's a great broadcast. And as that video shows, he's a good dude, too. Yes. So we're very glad to have you, Nate. I appreciate that. Welcome. Tony. Thank yeah. you so much. And I, I recognize that there are a long list of men and women that have come be before me. Yeah. So the standard is high, and I will do my best to uphold that standard and raise the bar occasionally. And nobody will be coming after. This is it. It's a lock now. <laughs> <laughs>